All right, today we're going to learn how to cut out silhouettes on the CNC router. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this is just to pick out a silhouette from a silhouette book, like we're showing here. You don't have to do it this way. You can actually just have an artist or yourself draw an outline, because in the end, that's all we're going to be doing. So the silhouette we pick out, we're just going to send through a scanner and into the, the CAD drawing software on the computer and trace an outline. So that's really all we're looking for is to get the outline, and today we're going to pick this little fantasy figure of the lion with a little rabbit riding on it. Right now I'm going to scan the image on a scanner and just send it to the drawing program. Now we're in our drawing program, and I scan our image in here. So I'll come down, bring in the scanning software, set the scanner to scan, and pick out the the lion and the rabbit, right there. The silhouette is now scanned into the CAD program, so we want to get rid of all this excess black uh, designs around the edges here. We'll clean that up with an eraser tool. Alright, you can see now that we have pretty much cleaned up the image, but there's still a few spots laying around, so what we're going to do is use our tracing tool to turn into an outline. Now we have an outline now that uh, needs some little cleaning up. The outline is a vector drawing now and not a pixel image. So the computer understands this mathematically and we can begin to work with it in a different way. So if we get rid of all these little spots and lines and dots we don't want to use, there's some here in the tail. We're going to get rid of those and there's a couple more. And then we're going to check to see if our lines are connected. Because one of the next things we have to do is make sure we have one continuous line going all the way around the outside of the lion and the rabbit. All right, I have a spot here that just uh, I can see is broken. So I'm going to cut that out and then attach them together, these two dots, and then we'll, we'll have a continuous line. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to scale the line to the after size we're going to end up cutting. So first I'll gray it out so we can, it's easier to see. Then uh, I'm going to scale it up so that it's the same proportion, but only it's a much bigger size. It's still an imaginary computer drawing board, so we'll just line it up, and then the next step will be sending it to the, the CAM program. So here's a little way to use our computer to check for the router bit size and see how well they're cut in our outline. We just drew these little red dots that are exact proportion to our drawing. And you can see that just by moving them around how well they will fit or won't fit. Like here, this uh, half inch size won't even make it past the rabbit's nose. So let's go and grab the uh, quarter inch size and see how well that one would do. Now we move the quarter inch size. You can see that's a little better fit, but we still have quite a few places in the hair on the rabbit's mane where it won't fit at all. So we want a little better fit than that. So let's make an even smaller router bit size. Let's try the 1 8 inch size and see. We can see that fits much better. There's still a few spots we can't get, but let's go ahead and use that. All right, the last part here is we'll save the drawing and send it to our CAM program. Alright, we now entered into the CAM program. This is the program that we use to calculate the actual path of the router. The first thing you want to do is set the size to match the board that we're going to be cutting out, which is 10 inches tall by 20 inches wide. Now I'm going to bring in the file from the CAD program, and here we are. And the first thing I'm going to do is program the two small little inner cuts in the rabbit. These are inner cuts and not exterior cuts like the outline. So I'll program these for the router path. And then I'll move on to the whole outside of the lion and the rabbit. If I select that, I uh, program the path. And in a second here, we'll show you a close-up of what the path looks like. There's a little brown line. And that's the path the router will actually take with a 1 8 inch size bit. All right, so let's move on from there.
All right, now here we are in the actual cutting with the router. You can see we're starting with those two small internal cuts inside the rabbit. And then we're going to start at the bottom of the lion. So here we go, and we're starting to cut at the bottom of the lion, and we're going to be moving on quickly to the front paws of the lion. Now we can see that there's a line already there. That was actually a false start because the router bit wasn't low enough, so I had to start over. So there we go with the front paws, and now we're going to be coming around. In a minute, we're going to be reaching the lion's head. You can see our view is upside down. So you have to kind of hold that in your mind about uh, we're not looking at this right side up. So here we are, the lion's head is starting. And we're going to come around to the lion's mane on the back of the head. This is the area we're actually looking at before to see how well the router bit fit. So now we're going to come up and now we're actually starting on the rabbit. This is the rabbit's face. We're going to the rabbit ears. And then we'll move around the rabbit to the tail. All right, now here we are coming on to the lion's tail. This is a fairly long tail. It gets a little thin here. This is one of the things you have to watch out when you do silhouettes is you can't get too thin. So this doesn't work well with sticks or strings or branches of trees. You really will need to have some certain width to keep the strength in the wood once it's finished cut. Right now this is around the back paw and we're near the underbelly of the lion and this is actually near just the part where we're almost done. This is a fairly quick cutout and some are simpler and some are more complicated. Now you can see that the final cutout is very, very close to the actual silhouette.